Hi everyone, my name is Diogo and I am a Japanese student at International House London and I will be telling you、uh, about my journey through level 10 Japanese at IH London. So I've been studying Japanese for a bit over a year now, I've now reached level 10. So there is already some vocabulary and grammar that have become just Common to me, but I will do some very quick revisions to help you understand、uh, what we studied in class. So, a quick revision with Japanese verbs. When we use what we call the polite form, how you would speak to someone on the street, to a colleague, those verbs will usually end in mas if it's a present or future tense, or they will end in mashita if we talk about the past. Today, we Learn how to use the verb which is the English equivalent to become. So, this verb will be narimas, narimas, so that will be present or future tense. And to turn it into the past tense, we will use narimashita, narimashita. Another quick revision is that in Japanese language, words in a sentence can be wherever you want, with one rule which is the verb must be at the end. But in order to identify the function of each word in a sentence, we need to identify these words with what we call particles. And the particle that we use with the verb narimas is the particle ni. So, whatever particle comes just before ni, it is what has become. So, let's go over a few quick examples that we used in class today. So, let's pretend it just turned 12 o'clock. So let's eat lunch. So 12 o'clock, Juniji. So then that must be followed by ni and the verb narimas. So it turned, past tense, it turned 12 o'clock. Juniji ni narimashita. And then you can say, so let's eat lunch. Hiru gohan o tabemashou. Hirogaha is lunch, tabemashou means let's eat. So, juniji ni narimashita, hirogohan o tabemashou. So, that was an example we used. Another one is let's pretend you went to the park and when you got there it was quiet, there w a s not many people around, but then after some time it became more crowded, more lively with people having fun. So, park is koe. Koe,、um, a quiet space, this adjective will be shizuka, shizuka. And then the more lively situation after that adjective will be nigiaka, nigiaka. So, koen wa shizuka deshita. So the park was quiet. Nigiaka ni. Narimashita, and then it became lively. So, I hope you enjoyed this bit of revision and explanation of the use of the verb narimas and how to use it, and the tiny bits of revision.